Hi, Facebook. I'm trying to do these more regularly because I know I was doing them pretty regularly before and then I just kind of stopped all of a sudden. This is, oh, I got coupons. Cool. Um, but I thought now would be a perfect time to do another one because I am stuck in South Houston right now. Well, I'm not really stuck. It's a choice I'm making. So I got new neighbors and with new neighbors came fleas that have infected themselves into my dog. And financially, I have been struggling to have the money to do it, but I finally found a groomer that wasn't going to try that flea treatment and taking care of these pesky fleas that are on him are part of the bathing, so it's not extra. The only thing that I had to pay extra for, because he's getting a haircut, grooming, brushing, flea removal, um, and nail grinding. And the nail grinding was the only thing I had to pay extra for. I'm so hungry. And it's all for 60 bucks. She hit only takes cash though. That's the only problem. So I had to quickly go run to Chase before they closed. And when I talked to her, she said it was going to be two hours. And I'm like, getting? So I drove home from work. Took an hour. Picked up Teddy. Immediately left. Because I told her they would be there at 5.30. I got home at 4.40. I dropped Teddy off at 5.30 on the dock. And I don't want to do that trip. I don't want to go back home and then come back and get him. So, I googled places to eat by me and I found a Sonic. And I love me some Sonic. And back home it was always hard for, for me to get Sonic because we'd have to go to Modesto to get it. And we didn't really ever have a reason to go to Modesto. So now that Sonics are like on every corner. And Sonic is the closest fast food restaurant to my apartment. I eat at Sonic a lot. Between Sonic and Torchies, that's where I spend a lot of my time. But, until 7.30, I'm going to be just chilling here. Because on top of her... It, I mean, it was kind of a little sketch, but I met her, she seems nice, she didn't give me any bad vibes. Um, She works out of her house. And all the reviews I found for her, I actually found her through Facebook. Because I was telling my coworker how expensive it is for me to go to PetSmart. And how ridiculous it is. And I was just like, I'm done. I'm tired of PetSmart. Uh, my coworker told me just Google random places and I found it. And it took me to Facebook and she has stunning reviews. So we'll see how it goes. So now I'm just chilling. And there's other stuff I want to talk about. I can't for the life of me remember now. I am going to start streaming some video games again regularly. Because I stopped doing that. Just because I just got so tired. And then Borderlands 3 came out and I was like, yeah, I'll stream this. And then I was having technical difficulties, so I stopped. But I found a scary game that I really like. And anyone that knows me knows I don't like scary. But this one's pretty fun, so I might start streaming it. It's called Dead by Daylight. So I might, I might start streaming that. Um, what else did I have to talk about? Oh! So Thanksgiving is next week or week after. And I have a confession to make to all of you. I have been talking about nothing but praise and how I'm doing good. I'm overcoming all these obstacles since I moved. I'm making it on my own. But the truth of the matter is all of that is true, but the closer the holidays come, the more depressed I get. And I knew it was going to be hard. I just, I guess I just didn't think it was going to be as hard as it is. Because I've dealt with depression since I was, since 2010 when my Aunt Susie died. And it, it broke my heart. But because I've dealt with it for so long, I've learned of ways to cope with it. I know with this type of, de this mood of depression I'm in, I need to listen to suicidal songs that are talking about people committing suicide. For some reason that helps me, I don't know, I'm weird. For this type of depression, I need to just go cuddle with somebody. This type of depression, I just need to go watch sad movies. This type of depression, just go to sleep. This time, though, it's just... It's caused because of the holidays. Because I am really happy where I'm at right now. Before, when I left California, my main cause of my depression was going on Facebook and seeing all my friends getting married, having kids, getting their own place, living their lives, and I was still... 
living at home with my mom, which isn't a bad thing, but I felt like I was so far behind the rest of my peers, and it weighed on me every single day. So now, I'm on my own, I don't have that depression anymore. My depression is solely triggered by the fact that the holidays are right around the corner, and it'll be my first time not going to my Aunt Brandy's on Thanksgiving, not going to my Papa Doug's and my Aunt Christie's on Christmas, not having our annual New Year's party. So, I am struggling a little bit. Um, I, hopefully, if I, I did my planning right and I did my math right, instead of spending Thanksgiving alone, I was originally going to try and volunteer at a soup kitchen like me and my mom and my brother used to do when we were younger. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find any, just the timing and everything, it's just not lining up. But I did save some money so that instead of being alone on Thanksgiving, I'm just going to go eat at a Denny's. Call it Square. And we'll see what Christmas brings when that comes, but I, I'm i okay, but the holiday season, instead of making me happy, is starting to weigh me down, um, and I will get through it. I mean, I have all you guys that care about me and love me and I can talk to, but I felt like I needed to be real with you guys because I've been talking about how moving cured my depression, and now I've been forced to realize that it's back. And I was denying it for so long. I was like, I was putting off the fact that I wasn't eating. Because I haven't really been eating this whole week. And I haven't been sleeping. I was like, I'm just tired, that's why I'm not hungry. Or I'm just stressed because of work, and that's why I'm not sleeping. But that's not the truth of it at all. Um, And once I was able to admit that, I finally got my uh, appetite back. So I have been eating. And I have been sleeping. But the depression's still there, and so now, instead of not sleeping enough, I'm sleeping too much. I've been going to bed at, like, 7 o'clock every night. And on the weekend, I've been taking four-hour naps. I'll take a four-hour nap, wake up, eat something, and then go back to taking a nap. But, uh, since I've admitted it and I've confessed, things are getting a lot easier. So I I just wanted to be real and let you guys know that I'm okay, but I'm missing you all. And it's causing me to be a little sad. But it's going to be all okay. And I love you guys, and I will talk to you later.